Hello, this is Dr. Gay from First Leg MRI, and this is a 68-year-old man who has complaints of soft tissue swelling in the hand here. You can see in the distal thenar region, he has this well-defined cystic-looking lesion. On the T1 images, it's hyper-intense to the muscle, pretty uniform in signal intensity. Now, he did have history of a prior injury. He had drilled his hand um, previously in this region, and uh, that went on to heal, but now he's developing this mass. Also, he has this deformity here from prior trauma, uh, the thumb. And if we look on the T2-weighted images here, we see that the lesion has um, this nodularity, these little tiny specks of low signal or intermediate signal scattered throughout it. In the history of prior injury, and then this unilocular appearance, and these little nodular areas of intermediate signal, this, these are classic for an epidermal, I'm sorry, epidermal inclusion cysts. So with that, they usually have prior trauma, the pilosebaceous unit, gets trapped underneath the skin from surgery or trauma, and then when it uh, secretes its material or excretes its material, it cannot um, escape, and it just forms a cyst underneath the skin. And these usually are unilocular, and they have this funny nodular appearance. So if you see this nodular appearance, and you have a big cystic st uh, structure with history of prior trauma, it's pretty straightforward. And you know, when you see a cyst normally in a hand, you say, oh, this is a ganglion cyst, this is easy. But in this case, um, it uh, has this nodularity throughout it, which is not typical. Usually ganglion cysts um, are really clean or sometimes they're septated. This just doesn't have that typical appearance of a really clean looking fluid collection uh, along with multiple septations sometimes. So an epidermal inclusion cyst of the hand.